Hey, what's up you guys? Um, today we're going to be talking about something pretty cool. I'm going to show you how to create a GUI or graphics user interface in Java. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. It pretty much means we can draw graphics into it. And it's just kind of like a little pop-up window. Um, instead of working on the console where we only see text, we can actually see pictures, drawings, etc. So this really just um, opens up a lot of possibilities. And what we're going to be doing is just create the GUI window today. We're not going to be doing anything extensive, but in later tutorials we probably will. Um, but first, to create a GUI, you need to import two things. You need to import the Java X dot swing, not swing, swing dot asterisk, and you need to import Java dot awt dot asterisk and once those two are imported we are going to create another method we are going to name this method main and once that is created we can actually start creating our window um, and the way we do this is we type in set size 400 by 400 and we are going to, the reason we're typing in um, set size is because, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, we want to create this window as 400 by 400 pixels. So 400 pixels, pixels uh, long and 400, 400 pixels wide. And the reason this is returning an error is we um, did not extend the JFrame class. Now to extend it, the JFrame class, what you need to do is you need to type in extends JFrame. And what we're doing here when we type in public class main extends JFrame, it may seem overwhelming, uh, and that's okay. Um, what this pretty much means is our main class is right here. It's right contained within these squigglies. And JFrame is actually its own class. Um, if we right clicked on this, and then did open declaration, we would open the class file and you'd see um, all the stuff that pops down. And instead of having to type all that code out, we can actually just extend the JFrame class so it's pretty much like adding main right onto there. And then after set size, we can do set default close operation and then we can do jframe uh, dot exit on close and what this means is if you click the little red button at the top right corner of the window it will close correctly uh, the program will end correctly and that's what we're supposed to do when you close a window um, just like on any other program you've seen if you've played I don't know Minecraft or something and you have the little red X at the top right corner when you click on that it will close uh, the window and the game. So that's pretty much what this means is close when you click the red X. Now we can do set location uh, relative to and then null. Now what this means is um, when we create the window, um, when the window is uh, has been coded and has been launched, where do you want the location to be uh, placed relative to something? And now I know that seems confusing, but imagine it this way. What if you had a little window right here? Say you had a little window for, I don't know, a game or something. Uh, and you wanted to spawn your new, spawn, uh, create your new window right next to it. You could put relative to that window so it would uh, be created like around here but since we don't have any of that we can just type in null and that means nothing in programming language and then we just have to do one more thing is set visible to true and what this means is what it uh, is written as do you want the window to be hidden or do you want it to be seen and of course we want to see it so we set visible to true and now we are almost finished we need to do one last thing and that is call this method and the way we do that is we type in new and then main 
and we don't take any arguments. That's why these little squigglies or parentheses are empty. And when we run this program, you will notice something pop up. Let's save first. And then we have our little GUI. Uh, if you look here, it's um, obviously a Java GUI, as you can tell by the little Java logo at the top left corner. And we have our minimize, maximize, and uh, close buttons. We can resize this, but by default, the screen is at 400 by 400 pixels. Um, and so this is really helpful as we can just resize, do whatever we want. And eventually we'll get to drawing graphics inside of here, such as circles or squares. Um, but uh, for this, that is enough. Let's just try it out by closing. And you'll notice that it closed successfully because it called this. And really that's all you need to do. Um, that is how to create a simple Java GUI. And I hope you got something out of this, and I will see you in the next tutorial.